Funny man, Dan. <clears throat> it's time to salute Terry. Is he ready? Uh, ready I believe so. Terry? You okay, Terry? Uh, now, if you, if you don't know our tradition, because it's only been our third episode. Mm -hmm. We salute Terry, and if he raises a paw, you can yes. salute it's going to be, su be successful. Yes, yes, sure. please. Yeah. Everybody salute Terry. Okay. Oh, no. Oh salute no, harder. Come on. Hang on. <laughs> we need, salute harder? We need, everyone should salute We need everyone, everyone oh, to do it. Three, two, one. Yeah, okay. Okay, ready. Who's saying the You're countdown? Saying oh, sorry. <laughs> Will you introduce <laughs> the content? Go on, go three. on. Three, two, one. Good job, yeah, Terry. Yeah, so fantastic. Terry, uh, the return great. salute from Terry. We wouldn't start without it. No. Welcome to episode number three of the Vault Podcast. Woo! We are recording live in Sydney, Australia in our Waterloo campus. Yeah, if you're yeah. ever in Sydney... Um, just, and you're on holiday. Just come visit. Come and you're probably uh, the closest location to you might be our city location, mm. right in the heart of Sydney in Waterloo. Yep. You, could, yep. you could come watch a Vault episode live. You could watch a Vault episode live. <laughs> if that's something you've always wanted wow. to do. Wow, you could be well, our studio audience. We do. I would love a studio audience that in the could future. Be fun. Okay. Well, we do have a studio audience sort we of We do now. a little bit. A little bit. We've got Sandra and Will who and are kind of helping us out. Um, but, you know, audience. we'd like a full audience would be great. And Terry, yeah. you're saying? Yeah, but he's not. No, he's like royalty, so <laughs> we're good. Now, can you feel this feel this laptop for a second? Ooh, yeah. It feels okay. heavy, doesn't it? Why is it that? Does. It's full of mail. <laughs> wow. At the vault at hillsong.com. The only way we, we can continue to make this is if you email us questions. Mm. And it's full. Can I just say it's completely full? I, don't, I, don't, I think that's a lie. I thought you were going to say it was full well, of facts can I, because you're also a fact checker. Yeah, well, that, that is very true. Mm. Dan, full it is facts. full of facts. Well, let's introduce ourselves. Dan, funny man Dan. Dan Hello. Archer, the fact checker of the show. <laughs> yes. He's the one with the laptop. Yes. Jess McLean, Hillsong Kids, Kids Pastor uh, across the world. Not Australia. The world. But let's just say the world. That's the world's fun. <laughs> Dave it's Wakely. the world of Australia. Dave Wakely, your host and the guy that makes sure the, the questions are ready to go. Mm. Um, so thank you so much for everybody who's been emailing. Um, uh, make sure you tell your friends and family. Yeah. Again, spread the word. And if you posted links and said, oh, check out this on certain Facebook groups. and Anyway, mm. I'm just saying... We really would love to make grow this. We want to be your team yes. with you. We are our one team all together. We want this to be a weekly hangout where you feel like you're actually hanging out with your team. Yeah. Because we know that a lot of kids, pastors, and leaders around the world are single staff people. They're the mm. only one in the, on staff for overseeing kids, and it can be it can be a lonely role sometimes. And this yeah. is why we exist is to be your team. We're your gang. Gang. We're your crew. We're your what, if, what else is another word? Posse? Uh, we are your collection of individuals. <laughs> okay. Uh, Otherwise cool. known as a group. Yeah. yeah. Groupies? So no. We're no. Groupies. <laughs> no. We're your cheer no. squad. Chair, yes. We're You're doing pepped great. Up. We're pepped. Pepped. We are pepped. Uh, we would just like to say that you are doing great. You're yes. doing really, really good. You are. Working with kids is a long-term seed-sowing ministry. Yes. And you may not see the seeds you sow become, <laughs> what's the word? Plants. Um, big trees. Overgrown forests until many years later. So, mm. uh, but also, you know, sometimes every, we get a little glimpse of of the seeds that we sow, and I love that. And that's yeah. what the greatest thing about kids ministry is when you, when a kid does something brand new for the very first time. So he prays out loud for the first time in front of a group. Amazing. Mm. Uh, maybe they uh, they answer, they come up and read a scripture verse for you for the very first time ever. We get to see a lot of firsts, mm. uh, and that's one of the great things of kids ministry. But before we go any further, what's going on at the moment in our worlds? Well, it's as we mentioned in the last episode, it's spring. It's spring. Yep. It's still spring, but it's getting way closer to summer. And spring is the time of a very exciting gathering that we do. Yeah, I guess. it is. Once a year, all around our country. Yes. In a capital city near you. In a capital city near you. It's, called, it's Kids Fest, David. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was some kind of national holiday from Australia <laughs> that I'd never been a part of. Nice. Yes, the holiday of Kids Fest. Could I make the point that I am a New Zealander and I've only lived in Australia for uh, since 2001, which is a long time because probably many of our viewers won't have even been alive that long. Wow. Maybe, uh, right? If you're a 19-year-old, wow. you, you were born in 2000. <gasps> oh, my <Hang> gosh. <laughs> no. Fact check. That's correct. <laughs> okay. That's wild. So. Uh, oh, you could have been born in 2000. 1999 and still be a 19 year old. It's a true story. Yeah. Um, oh, so you may have been born. Hopefully, most of our. <laughs> oh, sorry. Probably, uh, yes, our sir. cameraman just raised his hand. Were you born in 1999? Oh, and are you, uh, are you 19? Oh, wow. oh my goodness. Why did Pastor <laughs> Brian hire That's like 20 year olds? It's a true stuff. story. Yeah, Jess, it's Jess amazing. was amazing. <laughs> you've got a, you <laughs> got a, great, really you've got a great future ahead of you, Will. Yeah. Both Nathan and Good Jess. Job. Her husband, Nathan, would just barely pass through puberty. <laughs> so. 
Let us begin, everybody. Uh, what, where was I going? I was going kids somewhere. First. We're talking about kids I want to yes. say this, though. Yes, I did want to say that sometimes I mm. miss out on things that are Australian that I didn't know when I was a kid because I didn't grow up here. And I thought maybe I'd miss something. But no, it's Kids Fest one day of the year. We gather all of our kids together across uh, different locations around Australia. And it's it's a massive deal. And here's the thing. It's so fun because they feel like they've taken over the church. Mm. Like we put up really high fencing and they kind of run amok and they feel like they're in charge. Like it's... Yeah, like they're supervised, totally. but I feel like the kids just get to like run amok and like own the church. Yeah, yeah. Like, one, one king gave me the detention one year for running what? in the halls. He said, "Yeah, this is my house now. <laughs> Sit in the corner." Amazing, it's amazing. Oh, so you, p- you picked up trash for an hour and yeah, I did. Yeah. Oh. yeah, but the rallies are always powerful. Like the moments where we get all totally. those kids together all um, at once, and it's really um, evangelical. If, if you would like to see a kids fest, you can watch it on the Hillsong Channel. Oh, because there is a we remember two yes. years ago we filmed a special. We actually filmed a special oh from my Kids Fest. And I feel like I need to watch this again and just yeah. get pumped up. So go on to Hillsong Channel. Um, I'll put a link in the description below. And mm. if you can, if you are a subscriber to that channel, you can check out on demand that 30-minute show all about Kids Fest. But yeah. also, if you have seen an album, previous albums way back in the day, I'm talking 2009, 8, 7, uh, we filmed those at Kids Fest. Yes, but, we did. So that's talking a couple of thousand kids in a room oh, all worshipping Jesus. We also filmed a very special live comedy special. Uh, yeah, we, we did. did. That is uh, on sale we now did. for digital download. Wow. Funny Man Dan Live. Yes. yes. Hello. The Hello Show. Is Thank it just you? called Hello? It's called Hello, it's yeah. Called hello. Can you do a Funny Man Dan Hello? Hello. It's called Dan. Hello. No, it's, it's got to go up. Okay, you know what? Hello. That's why we don't do it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's good. You so I thought that. mine was pretty good. Yours was better. I go pretty high pitched. Yeah, oh, totally. <laughs> so I don't think you go low enough. Though. That's the thing. I asked someone oh, to do. Goodness. I asked someone to do it, yes. and they got <clears throat> so nervous. Yes, because he's they like thing, and he just went. He just went. Hello. <laughs> it was the funniest <laughs> thing I've seen. He just freaked that out. He just freaked. That's the thing. Right. When you're as famous as you are, funny man, then you have that effect on people. Mm, yes, you I do can. Actually. I can make them you choke do. up. Choke up exactly. Like, I'm like Darth Vader. Oh wow. Really? What? Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yeah, wow. It. Yeah. Okay. Um, Just less so. fun. <laughs> <laughs> so, everybody. Have you got a question for us, Dave? I've, I'm going to do some questions in a moment, but uh, if you want to know more about Kids Fest, there's a link in the description below. And, and if you're in Australia, you can come. Just come. And if you're in Australia, there'll be one, and you're maybe very much in a way. Can I start that again? Yeah. There will be, there will be one near you. There will be. And, if, there and in fact, uh, if they're inter- if anyone is actually interested in bringing their kids ministry, yes. we could work out a special deal for them, we couldn't can. we? we can. They should they should email us at if the vault. We can give you a little home space. We can help you sort yes. stuff out. Yeah. All you good. need to do is turn up with kids and all the rest of the work of the organising the event mm. is done. How good is that? You probs in to register them. Remember that time that we like made the price real cheap and then like bus loads of kids rocked up? Oh, true story. That right. was pretty wild. Mistakes that we've made. Register. Yes. yes, so email us and we can send Top you... Top tip, set price breaks yes. when doing an event and registration deadlines. That's a very good place to start. So mm. Kids Vest is coming up and now for this podcast, it's time to answer your viewers' questions. Do, do, do. I just felt like I needed a theme song there. Oh. I can give you one. Mm. Go. Answering questions is what we no, do. No, no, no. Answering questions for, for me you. and you. I was... Actually, it wasn't as bad as I thought it could be. <laughs> <laughs> I can make it worse. Yeah, great. I, I know that. <laughs> Questions! If you could visit any church or ooh, place to ooh, get inspiration ooh. for your children's ministry, where ooh. would you go and why? Uh, now, so this is a question, not just about what church would you visit. I'm talking about where would you go full mm. stop. Now, I think we might the automatic response might be Disneyland, Disneyland. but I want us to go deep in this one, and yeah. I'm going to oh. kick us off. You okay, ready for great. This? Okay. I have always wondered... Uh, how churches, uh, especially in maybe uh, the Chinese world in China or in the developing world in certain South American countries, churches that have a very uh, persecuted churches who have to go into homes and do church, I've always wondered what they do with kids and families and how they yeah. how they do it all together. Yeah. And I've tried to look that up on various occasions, but I haven't had much luck figuring it <laughs> we out. We might need to go on a tour. I might need to go on a tour to China. Yeah. Uh, but but seriously, if you think about the underground house church movement in China, which is millions and millions of people, more people that live in Australia, millions of them, uh, they do church every week in a house. What are they? What happens with the with the kids? They, do they have a? They don't obviously have a separate ministry. There's cell movement churches who have. 
uh, pretty much a home church movement as well, uh, cell, cell churches. I know that's big in South America. What did they do with kids mm. and how did they disciple kids? Because in our model of church, obviously, we can, in a lot of America, Australia, England, uh, New Zealand, countries like ours, we have uh, children's ministries. Mm. And we, we take all the kids, we put them together with the peer group, and we try and disciple them. Yeah. So I would say my answer to that question is I would like to go to a Chinese house church movement yeah. and see how they disciple and visit places like that. Yeah. Hmm. Did you expect that answer, Dan? No. We... I was not expecting you didn't wow. Wow. Chinese, wow. Chinese church. That's pretty cool. What do you think, Jess? Oh, gosh. Like, to be honest, I have barely been anywhere. Right. <laughs> this is amazing. So your answer is anywhere. <laughs> anywhere. No, but the thing is... Um, uh, these days, it's beautiful because you can glean so much mm -hmm. from the internet. So okay. I feel like I visit James River Church all the time. Right. Shout out to James River Church. Don't Link even in the description. Really, yeah, like I haven't spent any time with them. I just started to stalk them via social media. Um, and I think that what they do is really cool, bright and colourful. We've got a few ideas from there. Yep. Um, I also like to um, visit what I like our senior pastor's vision statement like I try and live in that like try right. and expand that try and um I feel like that's so much vision that right. why would I need to go anywhere sure well, that's it I don't go I don't need to look anywhere for a more vision in yeah our churches there's there's so much more we can do just with doing what we do better yeah um, all right, I love it. Some of our buildings, like fit outs, like we've gotten a lot out of Pinterest and we've never even right. been to some of the locations where so we've pulled stuff from. Your answer is you don't need to go and see anywhere. <laughs> is that what you're saying, Jess? <laughs> well, I'm just such a homebody. I love where I live. I love Australia. I would love to go and visit some churches in America that are, are mm -hmm. bigger, um, but I'm happy with my. I'm content. Okay. Well, I, I have two answers that Good aren't job. underground Chinese church and you don't need to go <laughs> yeah, anywhere. You just need cool to visit places. yourself. I've just been to a lot of good places. Visit your own what? soul. Just visit the Lord and his imagination. It's endless. It? Uh, I would, uh, one great place I go, get to go to pretty much every year is Lakewood Church. That's yes, a lot of fun. Is. They do a lot of amazing See, stuff. I have the benefit of hearing from you guys when Which you is, go sorry. places. And if, you're, if your church is looking into any type of special needs ministry, mm. you yes. need to go and uh, go visit the Champions Club there because mm -hmm. that is unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, and they're great. Um, they're great. Lord yeah. and Anthony Normally. and the team. Well, let's, we also, need to plug Craig Johnson uh, Yeah, then. Craig Johnson. Yeah, yeah Craig Johnson. Check Champions out the work. Club. Another shout oh, out. Champions Club. An Aussie shout out. An Aussie shout out. Glow Church on the Gold Coast. Okay. Mm. Shout out there because um, Rachel's doing a great job there, Rachel and Isaac. And I just, mm. <laughs> I can't go there, but can you send me a bunch of photos of your building? And they fully sent me like videos, photos. Mm -hmm, and I'm like, mm -hmm. oh my God. This is amazing. Um, so, yeah, it's Absolutely. funny the connections you can make online with people. Like mm -hmm. you can visit somewhere but without physically going as well. Totally. Yeah. And uh, building relationship. outside of church, Hamley's Toy Store. Ooh. Okay. Okay, so this is how it works. Hamley's Toy Store. They employ, Where is it? Uh, it's in London, downtown London. Uh, this used to be the same at um, Toys R Us in Times Square. They basically have people to pay to play. So they wow. are playing with the toys and gathering crowds and showing you what it can do. It is a it is a masterpiece and a masterclass in engaging people. Wow. Walking past. So um, I believe they still do some of that stuff in the one in. I want to watch like videos of those people that are paid to play. Yes, well, I, I actually did a I did a vlog on it. We can Ooh, put, well, a, put a um, link yes. in the description below. The description. Oh my gosh, we're keeping, we're keeping Dan, it busy. We're keeping it busy. Dan, maybe you could look up that vlog. He's done a bunch of vlogs. Mm. Check out Funny Men Dan channel. Yeah, greatest toy store mm. in the world, Hamleys. Ham, Very sure, cool. sir. What it's called. Yes, I'm looking at it right now. Okay. Hamleys. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's a fact checker. Thought, That's his whole thing. Because you know, like, there's a very famous Harrods. There's a very famous store in yeah, England. You just yeah. And I thought I'd, you might have no, just... No, no, I didn't... No, yeah. you don't go there to buy a bath towel. You go there yeah. to buy toys. Dave, his computer is heavy with facts. So you know, right? Heavy with facts. How dare I challenge the fact checker? Exactly. How dare I challenge exactly. the fact checker? Mm. I'm, I'm, I apologise. I take it... Everything I back said, I take back all <laughs> the things I said about you. I've also visited um, our locations in New York, Hillsong in New York, mm. which is fascinating because we're talking about when I visited them once, the kids were in the bar, literally in the bar. They, they the put what? away the alcohol. <laughs> they hide it all down. They, put, they cover it up. Uh, but that's where the kids are because that's we're in the centre of Manhattan. We don't mm. have a venue. And I learn, you can learn from any location yes, that you go so to. Yes, so true. So I learned a lot about, I learned a lot about <laughs> how to hide Jack Daniels behind a bar. Wow. Right. Yeah. Good Was job. Jack Daniels the name of a child? It's <laughs> 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 hide and seek. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's a seven-year-old um, yeah. Yeah, no. seven boy mm. from um, 
the Daniels family. Okay, next question. We need to move on. Yes, we do. Because we're doing. We've we've said enough about that, right? Mm. All right. Listen, listen, listen. This is a this is a fresh start kind of question. Oh. Uh, we're taking uh, my husband and I are taking on the role of children's ministry directors of our church. Congratulations. Small congregation, less than sixty. 10 kids in regular attendance. Come on. We're That's building this from the... Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. That's, um, That's not 100%. <laughs> no, I know, but what no, is it? That's 15%. 15%, That's which is a good standard. number. Mm. Um, we are truly building this from the ground up. There is no annual plan in place, no curriculum, no policies. Uh, truly a blank slate. They do have a van. That's not being utilized for outreach, but interested in working on that as well. Mm. So, a blank slate. My question for blank this slate. on that is just, I, <laughs> I like that idea of like a blank slate. What yeah. do you do first? First. Like, um, what is the, what are some of the things you focus on? Because she said they have a, um, have a van, mm. but you forget about the van for the moment. Like, yeah. in my opinion, you just go put that to the side. Mm. Unless just you put it in. You put it in the garage. The, <laughs> yeah. Down by the river? <laughs> down by the river. Okay. Um, but you leave that in the back of your mind because mm. that is you don't really need to start with a van just mm. yet. Um, that could come very quickly, though, especially if, you're, if your church is focused on outreach. So first thing, first things that you do. Jess, what do we do first? First, well, equipment. Okay. <laughs> it's a very good place to start. Mm -hmm. Those 10 kids, what do they need? What are their ages? What demographic? Um, how to keep them safe? How to keep them? Oh, of course, media. Like you want to, you want to set up some kind of screen and mm -hmm. sound so that you can teach them in a um, engaging way. Mm -hmm. So with you media. said start with safety. Start with safety. How would you do? Well, I think, how I would think you do she's basic saying that if there's no policy in place, no I policy. think hundred before you even think about the program, <coughs> you probably sit down. Yes. And if your church is part of a denomination, they you might go to the one. denomination and say, "What is the yep. policy?" And you just go, "Don't rewrite it." Even yep. if you're reading it and you're going. Uh, it's, you just you 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 adopt it, you accept it, you you go for it, and you work on it from. But there. top things that our safety is built around is never be alone with a child. Mm -hmm. yep. So two approved leaders, and what we mean by approved leaders is they've been they've got the government check, which we call WWCC, but then they also um, have a they've had some lifestyle questions asked about mm. them. So they they um, fit a certain moral example that we want for children. And that's mm -hmm. our church has determined what that is, but you might need to determine yeah. what that is for you guys. So that's the on parents top would of be happy with entrusting their kids to those leaders. Yeah. So and that's, that's on, on top to of a policy and a set. policy is just really the very basics. Here's yeah. what you do, you follow and that's never be alone yeah. with a child. But then on top of that you're going, Well, we really want again, children aren't this kind of there's no different criteria for, for teaching and preaching to adults or children. Yeah. You've got a, a no different criteria uh, for, you know, um, being a leader in a sense. There's yeah. uh, Whatever applies to working with adults applies to working with kids. You've got to be a great example for the kids. Mm -hmm. So that is that is definitely – but as I said, don't necessarily spend all your time creating a policy. You really want to try and find yeah. something because – uh, that took our team at our church <laughs> as, a, as a large church in multiple locations, a group of professionals. How long? I don't know, oh, years. We're so still working long. on it. So long. But it's always being upgraded and updated. And to be honest, it's a document that is always changing and morphing. So don't, mm. again, just get uh, get something that everybody is comfortable with. Uh, in, and again, that may, depending on your location around the world, uh, that could be very different. It could mm. be a denominational or it just could be somebody on the internet there might be yep. examples on the internet you could find. Anyway, yep. safety being <laughs> said, the next thing, again, your rooms, Jess, yeah. Yeah, practical safety. Like, do you need a baby gate because you've got little kids? Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, is your equipment, like, don't put a TV on a shelf that's going to fall on a kid. Like, totally. just make it safe. That's mm -hmm. the first place you need to spend And it's money. very, and the equipment really needed, if you're at like an hour and a half, if you're an hour service, an hour and a half service like us, like, we would start a location now. We just want a great big screen some sound and then we play to play media back on mm -hmm. and everything else from that point forward so you can do up front engage the kids little microphone if you can just something that allows you to gather the kids around the front yeah. of the room because you're creating a culture of we come here to yes engage with the word of god we come here to worship so you've got to structure your room and your program from the get-go that we come to meet around the word of god yeah, totally. It's not just all about playing. You'd yep. definitely start off with playing games, yeah, totally. some handball, whatever it is. <coughs> and again, just masking tape. Buy, buy oh, rolls so of masking, much masking tape. tape. <laughs> That's really what you need. So, uh, I and I, I think that blank slate, I mean, there's so much we can get down the track a little bit. But yeah, just preparing, make sure you're ready for the weekend services. Uh, and 
good. There's a procedure for signing in kids. And even if you're tiny, like 10 kids, you want to build into your church the habits that they come in and we sign totally. our kids in. Because mm. we, God, we believe that you will grow. We believe that your church will get, church will get bigger mm-hmm. and you want to design a system that works for 10 kids or for 100 yes. kids and for 1,000. Uh, and don't start... Don't start going, oh, we'll eventually do sign-in. We'll eventually do check-in. No, just do it from the beginning. Totally. If they, if they do it at Chuck E. Cheese, you should be able to do it at your church. Sure, I don't know Even what Even if it's means. stickers and business cards with numbers that yes. match, just get it just started. Do do a little – and there are it's a lot of resources there to make that happen. Mm-hmm. So that's – I mean, that's the blank slate there. And obviously, uh, you just want to be ready to run a weekend service mm-hmm. I mean, from our experience. And then – once you've got a once that's going and you've got something there, mm. <laughs> then everything else can kind of follow from that. And I would say, don't forget about the babies. Make sure your church has a high chair, has a change table, yeah. mm. all that kind of totally. stuff. Totally. Uh, we take Hillsong Kids takes kids from the age of one, so we have parenting rooms in all of our locations. Mm-hmm. Um, I know a lot of churches around the world take kids from like I've heard kids churches taking kids from three weeks old or four wow. weeks old. Like holy moly, that's uh, amazing. Maybe one day. Hallelujah. That's um <laughs> that is a big deal. I All can't. power to you. <laughs> so but yes, parenting room. If you if you are taking kids at an older age, create a space that mums can and dads can sit with their mm-hmm. babies, feed them, change their nappies, their diapers, uh, and it's not crusty. It's a nice place to sit. <laughs> what? Sorry, just no. what's not crusty? The seats you sit on. Oh, okay. Not the not the babies. The, not the Look, nap piece. Unfortunately, but every baby under the age of one is crusty. And oh, okay. there's a screen in there, actually, like or an audio link to your yeah. service. If you can see the service, the classic parenting room is the big old glass windows, but not every place has that. And it's that's but that's a really good option, even if it's the back of the auditorium. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yep. It just tr- try things out, and especially a clean slate. A clean slate gives you a chance to experiment. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Any more thoughts on that, Dan? Is there, I feel like this. <coughs> here's the thing. In answering that question, I feel like we'll get 100 emails <laughs> saying, but what about this? Yeah, totally. Yeah. You know what I mean? Good. Totally. Let's do it. Uh, now, we want to talk about um, special needs ministry. Now, oh. uh, I do want to think, but I want to talk about something specific. So here's the question. Someone's talking about um, a special needs ministry for uh, school-age kids. Mm-hmm. They are thinking it will start as a buddy system. A child with special needs shows up, they get a buddy for the morning to guide them through our program. Adaptions to curriculum when necessary, which is already part of the curriculum, and a quiet place to retreat to if needed. So let's talk not about the big picture uh, um, special needs, additional needs ministry. Let's just start off with what everybody can do. Mm, And let's talk about the kind of buddy system that we would have in place and what we recommend for that. Good. What do you think? Well, I think if you find a buddy for a particular child... Um, first of all, the family needs to know that you've gone to the great effort of finding that buddy um, and right. you need to build that relationship between the parent and the buddy. And I think you also want a parent to RSVP and tell you somehow or tell their buddy that they're coming or not coming because you right. don't want a buddy to be demotivated. Um, and you want your buddy to be identifiable. So for us, our um, buddies often wear a blue vest, which shows the rest of the leaders that that child needs a buddy. And that that leader can deal with um, the complexities that might yeah. come that child's way in their own way, mm-hmm. in a different way than other leaders. So it's really good to be identifiable in that. And it's really good to um, give your buddies a visual timetable that they can use to prompt their kids um, about the next thing in the program. So that's something that you can so easily do with um, a laminator, cut it, scissors, lanyard, um, sort out a visual timetable. A visual timetable is like photos of um, play, photos of worship, photos of teaching, photos of um, group time or KDG time, mm-hmm. and you can put them in order um, on the day of what's happening so that then the kid has promptings of what's coming up next because often kids with additional needs struggle with transitions. Emphasise with the parents of, of special needs kids that you really need to tell us if you're coming or not. <laughs> yep. Like that's a really good place. Say, so, hey, listen, we are 100% committed to your child and making it work, but we mm. need to know what's yep. going on. So, which you maybe wouldn't do with any other parents. No. With with uh, kids that are they're fine in our programs, you're not going to go, let us know if you're not coming. But And, yeah. and that buddy probably is going to want to serve in one consistent service. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. sometimes that's hard for families to understand because often families might jump around service times. But for an additional yeah. needs child, that's actually not the healthiest thing to do. And if their buddy is available, like that's a great resource to that family mm-hmm. to come to the service that their buddy's at. So I think also making sure you've communicated around this is your service time. It's 9 a.m. on a Sunday and this is your buddy. And that's how we're going to 
best set up your it. kid for a win. Child yeah, because we win. want want we want uh, we want this place that you come to to be the mm. most accepting and the most easiest place to come to in yes. all of your child's experience of throughout the week. Yeah, and that would be a, like imagine if that was the testimony of the families in your yep. church. Amazing. Yeah. Very, very good. And a quiet place for kids to withdraw to. I've seen that being like a rug, um, like a bath mat that has like a textured mm-hmm. kind of a texture to it. So even you don't have to have a separate room. You can just have a rug at the back that has that's um, nice to touch. And then you have a the leader has a bag that has a few little sensory things in it from Kmart, some squishy things, yeah. um, so that that kid can go to that rug and they that's their outlet for if they're feeling unsettled as a first step before removing them from the room because we want to include them. 100%. Yeah. And, of course, there may be situations where a child has very quite acute <coughs> special needs mm. and may not be able to accommodate it in a program. And don't feel bad about that. Mm. Uh, in a sense, we are creating an experience for the majority of mm. kids uh, and sometimes that experience just won't work for certain kids. Yeah. And that's not the kid's fault. That's just we can that we are trying to create a this kind of this kind of program this kind of environment, uh, but in saying that we still want to reach all the kids. Yeah. So if you cannot if you feel like the that what you are doing with the kids the style of preaching praise and worship that you're doing does not reach that child then you go okay what's the best thing that will help this yeah, child? Yeah, totally. That was pretty good. That was so, good. Dan, fact check. Well, a fact, not no check. Oh. Uh, they <laughs> is it really a fact if it hasn't been mm. checked? Well, no, no. I'm not checking your fact. Okay. I'm just giving you a fact. Okay. And not something I'm checking that you've said. Uh, six <laughs> six point two percent of children aged five to fifteen in the USA, because this is where the study is, have some type of disability. Wow. So uh, one of the great things that our friend Craig Johnson from Champions Shout Club out. says... Shout out. I don't know, if, does he get paid when we... Um, in in, in love. He gets okay, paid yeah. in love. <laughs> uh, he said that some people think, well, we don't have a lot of special needs kids. But right. he found that because he's established hundreds of these around the world, yeah. when he has a special needs mm. program... Families come out of the woodwork, exactly, and um, mm. it helps build your church. Yep. So maybe that's um, you can and you can contact them and they can talk to the senior pastor about setting up something in your church. Totally. Very very good link in the description. Uh, I would say that again. I was going to say something deep and meaningful. <laughs> it was really good, guys. But it was just that idea that um, uh, those families are very well connected to each other mm. as well. Yeah. Because if you as soon as you see a family that's going through a, sa- a similar struggle similar challenge to you mm. you're like what, how, yeah. how are you dealing with this what yeah. are you what access what programs because again even your government systems may have programs that yeah. some families may not be aware of mm-hmm. or may not be accessing and yeah. I find that's the greatest. At our Hills campus there's a dinner where the parents get together and the, um, the, the team look after the kids midweek and yeah. all the parents go out to dinner together mm-hmm. and it's, that's really cool because they don't get a lot of social outlet because it is hard to find care yeah. when you've got kids with additional needs so that's pretty exciting. We once went to a, I think, were you there? We went to a, in, in Olympic Park, mm-hmm. where the Olympics in 2000 were in Sydney, mm-hmm. in a big warehouse. They have this uh, oh, yeah, yeah. charity and they give that. gifts, yeah. the presents. They, they, we this charity gets, so we, we go there as volunteers and you help distribute the gifts to kids. Didn't we so run the plane? Good. We won the slot car. There was a we slot ran car. the slot car set up. Yeah, <laughs> little 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 racing cars, and we hung out there and just volunteered. That's awesome. But it was, and I saw kids from our church there. Oh, that's was beautiful. Awesome. And they were so again. That's a thing that maybe some families may not even be aware exists. Mm. And so it's it's sharing that knowledge with our families. Totally. And um, being that resource for them. Now, one more fact check. Go on. This is an actual fact check. Mm -hmm. Uh, When Jess said buy Squishy from Kmart for our American listeners, she probably means Walmart. Okay. Because we, Kmart Kmart over there does exist, but it's actually. Look at you. It's actually like a wealth. It's actually, no, Kmart over there is actually closing down a lot. Kmart in Australia is a different company. Kmart, yes. No relation to the No relation. And it's more like Walmart, just a lot smaller. Yeah. I feel uh, like I'm just missing out. Like I'm like the the like I've been to America when I was a kid. Right, right. You guys no, are no, way no. cooler than me. Well, no, Dan is just he. This is why he's here. Yeah. Okay. He's an encyclopedia. He's, he's taking a, my he's Australian vault. nature and yes. he's making it uh, work. He is the vault else. of knowledge, uh, and we because you know what I've heard a lot of podcasts that don't translate to your local culture, but we do mm. here. Yeah. We try. We're part of your <laughs> team. <laughs> We're part, we'll do things in metric, we're we'll pepped. do things in imperial, we'll do yep. it in miles and kilometres and yep. millimetres and feet. What? We will do it. Oh, I don't know about What's that. What's another one, Dan? That's gone too far. Uh, we'll do it in Fahrenheit. <laughs> Fahrenheit and centigrade. Yep. <laughs> 
We will we will help you understand what the heck we're talking about. That's exactly right. Because we are Australian as well. Yeah. So if you don't understand a word we're saying, um, just let us know by emailing the vault <laughs> at hillsong.com. <laughs> Ask us your questions. Good. Uh, let us know what we want to hear more questions. Our inbox is not quite full, even though Dan says it is. There's room for more, Dan. I've cleared, we've cleared a few out. I today. think it should be a goal to hear from all the countries where we have a Hillsong kids. Love it. That hey, could be fun. if you're part that of could our be team, a fun goal. If you're literally part of our Hillsong kids team around <gasps> the world, we you could need shame the ones we haven't heard from. Joking. Oh, good we idea. will never shame you. We're your team, we're your family, we're your gang, we're your crew. <laughs> we love you. Um, your squad. <laughs> speaking of email, uh, we've just got an interesting business proposal. <laughs> what? We can Is get it a Nigerian prince? Fourteen billion dollars worth of wow. gold transferred to our account. Wow. Well, can we all pitch in three grand for the legal fees? Mm. Okay, done. Great. <laughs> oh gosh. Now listen, so please do write us those questions. We want to yes. hear more of your questions. If you are from our teams around, we really want to hear what teams from Hillsong Kids mm-hmm. are listening to us around yes. the world. So drop us a line and say, Hi, Come I'm on, Ida. Hagen. Let us know what's, what's yeah. going on. We'll just on. give you a shout out even if you don't have a question. Yeah. Uh, we will. We it's will good melody you know. from San Fran. If you don't have a question, <laughs> if you don't have a question, then just write us a greeting. We will give you a shout out. We yeah. will we shout will. out your team. We will shout out a volunteer for you and make them feel like a million dollars. Wow. So shout out to you, Prince Nubumbu. <laughs> I'm going to leave you guys with a video of us launching our, our book uh, that we need to talk about and you guys need to get for your team called If Only mm. You Knew. And we did a launch when we were down at the Kid Shaper Conference. Shout out to Andy Kirk you. and the Kid Shaper crew up in the Gold Coast. Uh, and we'll see you next time on the Vault Podcast. Bye, everybody. Peace. Bye. is that it just contains an idea and that idea can go so much further than I can go. That idea can end up in the hands of somebody in any country in the world.